How's it going guys, Real Rabbin here, back at it again with another video. We have raw gameplay footage of NASCAR Heat 2 Eldora with the trucks. Um, this was from 704 Games, the official account, so this is directly from them. I feel like the best way of breaking this down for you guys is if you haven't seen the footage yet. Um, it's only four minutes, so I've decided we're going to show the full four minute clip um, before I break it down. That way I don't want to talk over... Um, the spotter or the actual engine sounds and stuff like that, the graphics, all that stuff. So um, we're going to watch the gameplay and then I'll break it down for you. So here we go. So let's talk about this now. I want you guys to leave your uh, comments below what you thought of the uh, gameplay. Also leave your feedback as well because this is a work in progress as you guys can see by the bottom of the screen. Um, so the first thing you probably noticed is that the cars uh, don't get sideways as much as you think. Um, to be honest, this is exactly what I thought it would look like. Um, spot on, this was what I thought it would be. It is, if you guys have ever played Dirt to Daytona, 
it has the same exact look, sound, feel of how Dirt to Daytona plays on dirt. If you've ever played Dirt, dirt to Daytona, you can kind of, you know, keep it full throttle around the track. Um, you could kind of just whip the car around when you want to, um, and you don't have, it's not throttle control. This is not iRacing, guys. There's no, it, this is not even going to be close to iRacing difficulty or else no one would be able to really play it because uh, sim, a lot of sim guys are already on iRacing and, and people who want to play the console games uh, will not be able to deal with that kind of difficulty. Um, the AI difficulty was set at 103. This was a 7% uh, race length. Uh, manual transmission stability was off, so this is was like this was like the simulation uh, mode, um, and the uh, tire wear and all flat tire wear was normal. All flags were on, so those were all the settings. Um, and the graphics, in my opinion, look a lot better. The way the lights are going across the hood, as you can see, that was not in the previous game. Um, the, just the way the lights interact with the car is already a lot better. I like the way the game looks. Again, not to the level of Forza not to the level of project cars but when you look at this game you kind of have to downgrade those you know graphic expectations when you think of those kind of games um second year in the, it's just it's not going to be like that it won't uh if you're looking for graphics like that with this kind of engine remember this is the unity engine it won't happen not with this engine so for what it is it's really good it's a huge improvement on nascar heat evolution just by looking at the lights that's the biggest difference i can see um the dirt looks nice and the cars the way the cars interact with the lights looks great so uh that's a very positive step there the biggest uh basically improvement here the biggest positive in this gameplay is the spotter the spotter has more lines more dialogue he is not repetitive um obviously when you play the game a certain amount of time it will become repetitive to a point but if you're a race car driver you should know that you will always hear high low inside outside you know uh, go low you'll always hear those things so if you think that's repetitive then you don't want that you probably shouldn't be a race car driver there are a couple lines with the spotter that i've never really heard before in nascar games um the spotter sounds i like the way he really sounds like he's, he's talking through a radio it's not crisp clear uh, you, it shouldn't be crispy clear so that is nice, and the dialogue is spot on in my opinion. I like it. It's an improvement. Uh, when he says you're clear, you are actually clear. When there is a car below you or above you, he has different lines. It's not just like inside or outside. It, it, he could say car low, or I heard uh, one time it was um, car outside row three. So he's, he's judging basically like the track and the way and where that car is. So that's very detailed. Let's say if you're, if you're racing in the cockpit, you don't know where that car is to the outside of you. Um, that was very detailed in my opinion. Let's talk about the AI. So the AI, again, looked very similar to Dirt to Daytona. Um, I don't have a problem with the AI. I thought in NASCAR Heat Evolution, they were okay. Um, again, here, I thought they're, you know, bordering okay to good. Uh, obviously, they don't slide around as much. But like I said, this is not iRacing. This is what the dirt racing is going to be like. Uh, though we didn't get to see the the physics really with how it not with the handling but how a car interacts with another car or a car interacts with a wall there were a couple times in the video where the car would get actually really sideways and again it just reminds me a lot of dirt to daytona those who have had who those those who have played dirt to daytona will understand what i'm really saying there um there are times where the car will get really sideways the player uh, playing the game looked like he was doing a, a good job he knows how to play this is what I had an issue with last year with the marketing is that we, we were getting people who didn't know how to play the game showing the game off. This guy knows how to play the game, which is good. Um, so that is a, a good step forward. Uh, like I said, the AI, in my opinion, they take different lines. They know where you are. That's very important. Uh, they'll give you room, but they'll also try to be aggressive as well. Um, and you can also kind of like bump them and and you can race side by side with them without spinning out. Um, I just need to see what it looks like on ovals. Can I get below someone, or even Daytona or Talladega, can, can they know that we're three wide? That's a, a big issue I had in NASCAR Heat Evolution. But in here, uh, it looked all right. So um, is, what else can we talk about? Pit Road, I don't even know where Pit Road is uh, on at Eldora. I don't, I don't know if it's, is it even available <laughs> on the game? I'm not sure. Um, I'm, I'm almost positive you'd have to pit eventually. Uh, I don't know where Pit Road is. I'm actually looking right now if in, the, in the clip. 
Uh, if you make a left here, there it is. Okay, well, that's a very, very small pit road. Okay, that's difficult to get to. Um, I didn't see him going pit road, though, so I don't know about that. Guys, for dirt racing, um, I thought this was good. Uh, the, obviously, it's not great. It's not, you know, perfect. But the improvement in graphics, you can just... I, I love the way the lights reflect on the car now. That was just... It, that's what should have been the first game. Um, but the graphics look much better. The dirt looks fun. It looks a lot like Dirt to Daytona where you can stay on the throttle. And, you know, if you're looking for that simulation, real that, that real dirt feel, you've got to go to iRacing. Um, and even on iRacing, it's inc incredibly difficult. And a lot of people have issues with it because it is so difficult. So... Um, you have to lower down everyone. It, let's not be hypocritical. Everyone loves Dirt to Daytona. The, the way this Dirt gameplay and Dirt to Daytona are, you can go back on my channel. I, I raced on Dirt. It's identical. It's scary how, how identical it is, and that's why I thought it would be like this. Um, so if you want to run the top line at Eldora, I don't know if you can make a lot of time up there because um, this guy over here is running the bottom. And uh, I don't know. I'm not sure if you'll be able to really make time up there. But comment down below. Let me know what you think of the video. Uh, NASCAR Heat 2 is available for pre-order for $49.99. And you get the $50 uh, ticket voucher at one of the SMI Speedways if you do pre-order the game. Um, and also GameStop actually has a uh, sweepstake going on. So if you go on GameStop.com or, or the Power Up Rewards, you can actually enter a sweepstake to go to Homestead. Um, I did that, even though I'm already going to Homestead, so I don't know why I did it, but uh, I uh, saw that and I thought I would just share it with you guys, because if any of you have GameStop power-up points, you can just um, enter the sweepstakes, it ends August 31st or something like that. So, uh, that is it for me. Um, again, comment down below, let me know what you thought. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Peace out. Even if I try, even if I wanted to, and I can't change. Even if I try, my love, my love, my love, she keeps me warm.